Okay, today guys we're going to go over, over Etherape. Uh, Etherape is a sniffer that allows for visualization of all the different servers, IP addresses, and host names that are communicating on your network and that your computer is communicating with. So, on the outside internet. So as you can see, a screenshot I have on the screen right now is of Etherape. Uh, as you can see on the right, uh, it shows the different packets. Uh, each color represents a different uh, protocol. So the red right here is the web protocol or the hypertext transfer protocol. And uh, HTTPS is the secured version. Uh, as you can see, the larger circle here, that means that a larger amounts of traffic is going through this particular address. So, uh, for example, if this unknown um, dot blacklotus.net is our computer, uh, you can see it is communicating with the basic cid.mark.dreamhost.com and sending most of the packets there. What this allows us to do is to see what's happening on the network. Uh, and what I suggest you do, if you're interested in privacy, is get to know what the normal outlook on your network is. So now I have started up my fork of a non -surf. This is completely optional. Uh, I started up here. It changed my MAC address and host name here. And I also started up Etherape. So you can see what's going on on my network. What my fork of a non -surf does and what Parrots the non -surf originally does is it routes all traffic through the Tor network. So what you see here is my laptop here, which is laptop, which is the host name, uh, the feature I added for continually changing random host names. Uh, as you can see, it's communicating with torproxy.net. Uh, Tor uh, that is showing that right there. Uh, it is using a TCP port, uh, which is what Tor uses. And all my packets, while on my fork of a non -surf, will be routed through the Tor network. So this actually adds an extra layer of security, uh, if you think about it, because all packets must travel through the Tor network, so it would be a little more difficult for backdoors to communicate uh, if you are running uh, this fork of a non -surf. And uh, I wanted to show you what it looked like on my screen, um, and you can see some of the other uh, devices, like I have Chromecast right here, so I can watch things on TV. Uh, I have some other stuff, normal inner network communications, uh, and each different color represents a different protocol. So as you can see, purple is IGMP protocol. Uh, the yellow is MDNS, which is a form of DNS in, on the uh, local area. And uh, what happens is if I get to know my network and I know what I should be looking at, I can then identify if, say, a back door was installed. Uh, so back doors and spyware they sometimes, for example, rootkits will use Linux kernel modules to hide inside your system. You may not be able to detect it through normal means. So what Etherape allows you to do is to identify unusual communications on your network. And from there, you can research those IP addresses, those uh, packets through Wireshark, or you can you know, even use Google or an open source intelligence tool to find out more about the network in question. So if something looks unusual, I suggest looking into that domain, finding out what it's used for. And um, then from there, you can identify things that should not be on your network. So Etherape is very uh, helpful for visualization of the network. And what this will allow us to do is to pick up on any changes in the network uh, or things that are hiding in your system. So uh, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like and kind of explain it because I think it's a helpful tool for privacy. Uh, and that's what this channel is all about. So I wanted to show you what it looked like uh, when it was running through Tor. So there's my laptop, there's the Tor network. As you can see, it's only communicating with the Tor network. Now, if I were to stop a non surf what this will do is it will stop all of the communications through Tor, the entire routing. Uh, it will then uh, 
on my uh, fork of a non-serve it'll change back the host name and uh, basically it's restarting all the services and it will no longer be connected through Tor and I want to show you guys the difference so I'm going to open a web browser so you can see that it will map out everything a little bit differently so we're going to open Parrot Linux website uh, Parrot Linux is the distribution I'm using right now uh, it actually comes with Etherape so if you have Parrot Linux uh, you can use Etherape without having to find it or install it uh, you can download it Parrot Linux from ParrotLinux.org um, but anyhow I'm going to open a couple websites just so you guys can see what exactly the changes are so as you can see it lit up red right there that means a lot of traffic is suddenly going through and as you can see now my laptop is connected to several different computers across the internet it is no longer routing everything through Tor and you can see uh, all these including Amazon's cloud service which uh, has been known uh, to collect information uh, a lot of these domains are likely collecting information on me right now since I stopped the fork of a non surf so anyway I want to show you guys the difference here um, then you can I could analyze some of these host names and protocols and then I could go through Wireshark and check these packets and make sure everything is above board so anyhow that's what Etherape is it's a network visualizer it helps it's a helpful tool for privacy it can help you detect spyware or Trojan horseback doors on your system when you otherwise do not detect anything uh, so it is something I highly suggest you check out um, get to know your network learn what is normal and what is not normal and then from there you can do your own research and you can identify what exactly your computer is doing maybe without your knowledge and also help identify what some of these websites are doing uh, I only have a couple websites open but as you can see it's opened many connections uh, and I just wanted to introduce it to you guys so that's all I have for today guys I'm gonna be coming out with more videos soon I had to redo my computer had a little bit of an issue so I've been working on that lately so sorry I haven't had a couple videos in a little while but uh, if you like the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy.